Hello, fourth grade. It's Mrs. Berkheimer. I am so excited to be with you today. I hope you're having a fabulous day, and I also hope that you are enjoying your online learning. Today for social studies, I would like to talk to you about Studies Weekly, so let's go ahead and get started. First, let's review. What is Studies Weekly? In fourth grade, you've been learning about Pennsylvania. So your Studies Weekly newspaper allows you to explore our state's unique history and also brings that history to life. There is a printed newspaper and also an online newspaper. All of you are very familiar with a printed newspaper because that's what you used in the classroom. However, starting tomorrow, are you listening fourth grade? Starting tomorrow, you will be using the online version of the newspaper. Now, don't worry, the online version is the same as the publication used in the classroom, but with extra features. For example, there are videos, bonus media sources, and a sound option that reads aloud. And as the words are read aloud, they are highlighted, which allows you to follow along. You also have the ability to adjust your reading rate. The reading rate can be adjusted slower or faster. Now I know what some of you are thinking. Mrs. Berkheimer, how can I highlight? Right? We always tell you to go back in the text, highlight where you found an answer. Well, don't worry because you're also able to highlight an online text and you can even choose a color. As you're reading articles and answering questions online, you can earn virtual coins. These virtual coins are then placed into a virtual bank, and I'll show you how you can spend those in just a minute. Every online newspaper has a test with a variety of question types. For example, multiple choice, short answer, or maybe fill in the blank. Every online newspaper has a crossword, and each crossword reviews article vocabulary. And every online Newspaper has a game called Misspelled, and this is just a fun game that includes misspelled and correctly spelled vocabulary words. Now, before I move on, I need to make sure that you are ready because I am going to introduce you to the one, the only, Revere the Rat. Boys and girls, meet your virtual pet. This is Revere the Rat. And if you take a look at Revere the Rat's cage, it looks pretty boring. So what you can do is earn virtual coins and help Rev the Rat spruce up his cage. So before tomorrow, I would like you to make sure that you know your username and your password. Your username and password was generated by your social studies teacher. So if you do not know your username, and password, please ask a parent or guardian to reach out to your teacher so that you're prepared for social studies class tomorrow by knowing your username and your password. After you have your username and password, all you simply need to do is log into the site. And you do that by typing in the following web address. Are you ready? You may want to pause the screen and write it down www.studiesweekly.com backslash online. And this will take you right to your login screen. This is where you will enter your username and your password. So I generated a student account so that I could show you exactly what it will look like tomorrow whenever you log in. So let me go ahead and type in my username. And allow me to type in my password. After you type in your username and your password, you simply log right in. After logging in, you will have to click on the correct newspaper. So you will need to click on Grade 4 Pennsylvania Studies Weekly.
And after you click on grade four, all of the newspapers will appear, starting with week one, going all the way through week 28. So now I would like to start exploring. Let's go down to week 16. Week 16 is where you will be starting tomorrow. If you peek over at week 15, you can see that I already completed all of the questions and activities for week 15. And I also earned all of my virtual coins. So at week 16, you can see that I still have a lot of work to do and I still have 175 virtual coins to collect. So let's jump right in. All of the articles will be listed on the left hand side. So as you can see, there are several articles in this week's newspaper. Let's take a look at a few of them. Pennsylvania becomes a state, political parties, fun facts, David Bush now in the turtle. So all your articles are always on the left hand side. Let's take a look at Pennsylvania becomes a state. If there is a blue watch video, button, I would suggest you click on it first. Most of the time, if there's a video, it builds background knowledge for what you are about to read. So I would suggest watching the video first. So you simply click and enjoy the video. For many years, the relationship between Great Britain and its and we knew we were done. was good. But in the 1700s, they just excellent. To... Okay. So after you watch the video, you are all ready to read. You can read the article independently out loud, or you can have it read aloud to you. All you need to do is click on the arrow. Founding a Commonwealth State. The American Revolution had ended. A new baby nation had been born. Okay, so that is how you can have the article orally read to you. If you would like to adjust your reading rate, all you need to do is click on the turtle and that allows you to adjust your reading rate. Let's go over to the bonus sources. Most articles have several bonus sources. So click bonus sources and you can see all of the articles or videos or pictures that support that specific article. So as you see, there are three videos and two pictures as your bonus sources for Pennsylvania Becomes a State. So let's go back and review. All of the articles are listed on the left hand side. If you would like an article orally read to you, click on the arrow. If you would like to adjust your reading rate, click on the turtle. Always watch the video before for reading the article because it helps build background knowledge and make sure that you check out the bonus sources. Let's go down and take a look at what the questions look like. Most articles have a green question, a yellow question, and a red question. The green questions are usually your easier questions and your red questions are usually your more difficult questions. As you see, I already answered question one. You can see that I answered question one because I earned my virtual coin and there's a check mark. If you would like the questions orally read to you, you can do so by clicking on the blue arrow and the question will be read to you. Let's go back and take a look at how I highlight. So my answer for question one was the Keystone State. So I want to go back to the article and I want to show you where I found that answer. So I am going to click this part of the sentence. I double click and the highlighter will appear. And once the highlighter appears, you need to drag all the specific words or sentences that you need highlighted. So I'm just going to highlight our nickname, the Keystone State, and I will choose a color. If you are looking at an article and you think, oh wait, that's not what I want highlighted, all you need to do is click and remove your highlight. 
Now let's talk a little bit more about the questions. I want to make sure that you look at the bonus sources as well, because they often have questions. So if you look at Pennsylvania Becomes a State, if you scroll down, you have three questions for that video. If you look at the picture Pennsylvania, you also have questions about the picture. So make sure that you're always exploring and looking for all of the questions that you can answer. Under the article, under the articles listed, you can see your test, your crossword, and your game. If you would like to take the test, you simply click Take Test, and you can complete the test online. If you would like to complete the crossword, you simply click Play, and you can complete the crossword. Scroll down so you can see all of your hints and just click and start typing. And if you would like to play Miss Spilled, simply click play. Now I will tell you that this game takes a lot of practice. Let's just preview what the game looks like. So random words will appear on the screen and all of these words are found in article reading. So you need to click on a word and drag it to the incorrect spelling or the correct spelling, okay? Just like that, okay? So that's a really fun game that you could play. I have one more feature to show you and that feature is up here. And I want to show you your bank. Now, I only have 20 coins because I did spend some. I'm going to show you where I spent my money. So my bank has 20 coins in it. Let's go meet Rev the Rat. And if you take a look at Rev the Rat's cage, I already bought Rev a rug and a clock because I think it's important for him to be on time. When you first log in and start to explore, I would watch the video. If you would like to spend any of your virtual coins, okay, I only have 20, so you simply would click, maybe you need a shelf. I don't have enough coins. Oh, I guess, no, how many coins? Let me see how many coins I have. Oh, I have 20, so I can buy a shelf. So if I click buy, and display, there's his shelf, okay? So there you go. That's how you can spend some of your virtual coins. So that's just a fun, interactive virtual pet for you. I hope that you enjoyed exploring week 16. Let's go back to our presentation. I really want you to get excited about social studies. I want you to focus on some of the exciting lessons that you will be taught. For example, the Battle of Gettysburg, coal mining in Pennsylvania. Can you tell me anything about Clara Barton or Andrew Carnegie? If not, stay tuned because you will be learning about both Clara Barton and Andrew Carnegie. Can you tell me a fun fact about Pennsylvania? If not, watch this video. Pennsylvania, home of Betsy Ross, the Liberty Bell, Constitution Hall, and Punxsutawney Phil, the weather forecasting groundhog. Pennsylvania is our second state entering the Union on December 12, 1787. Here are five fun facts about Pennsylvania. One, Pennsylvania is the only one of the original 13 colonies that doesn't border the Atlantic Ocean. Two, also, if you like to drink carbonated milk while lecturing students in a school auditorium, then you'd be breaking the law in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. Three, 
In Lower Pottscope Township, there is a place called Ringing Hill because the rocks made a ringing sound when you hit them with a hammer. Number four. The famous crossing of the Delaware is reenacted every Christmas day at Washington Crossing. Number five. If you love chocolate, and come on, who doesn't, then you'll want to visit Hershey, Pennsylvania, the chocolate capital of the United States. And there you have it, five fun facts about Pennsylvania. See you next time on Fun Facts. All right, boys and girls, let's take a look at today's assignments. You just watched a video about five fun facts of Pennsylvania. I would like you to think about Altoona, Pennsylvania. And then I would like you to choose five fun and exciting places right here in Altoona, Pennsylvania, and write a fact about each place. So you need to choose five exciting places in Altoona and write one fun fact about each place. Second, I want to make sure that you know your username and password for Studies Weekly. And number three, log into Studies Weekly and start to explore. So until next week, fourth grade, remember, stay positive, work hard, and make it happen because every day is a chance to learn.